Hello friends, welcome to the another video of strength of material. In the previous video, we have discussed the basic concept of stress and strain. In this video, we will discuss Hooke's law and elastic constants. To start with Hooke's law, let's draw the circular bar again, which I have discussed in the previous video. The length is L and there is some elastic limits within the body up to elastic limit. If you stretch the bar, there is some deformation and you then release the forces then the bar will regain its original length if you stretch the bar and as a result the bar gets another length l dash and the bar is within elastic limit and now you release the force p the bar will again come to uh, length l so this is called elastic limit the hooke's law states that within elastic limit the stress is proportional to strain so we can write sigma equals to there is some constant e epsilon so this constant e for this direct stress that is actual stress this e is called modulus of elasticity or it is also called young's modulus you can write uh, sigma as a p by a equals to e into del l by l so del l or is this change in length can be written as p l by a e this is a very important formula keep it in your mind now coming to the shear stress you are applying a force tangential to the surface the force is E and as a result of this force the body gets reflected like this so this change in dimension per this length basically this angle phi is denoted as shear strain say this is this length is x this length is y so the shear strain equals to x by y which is tan phi as phi is very small can be written as phi and the shear stress the force p by unit area that is of the plane the area of this plane stress is written as tau so for this shear the modulus is called shear modulus it is shear stress by strain phi the modulus of elasticity is f e equals to stress by strain shear modulus also called modulus of rigidity it is denoted by g now coming to the third modulus which is called bulk modulus you see this, there is a body three dimensional body and you have applied some normal forces in x y z all the axis so this bulk modulus denoted by k is normal stress divided by volumetric strain sigma in normal stress by epsilon v so this is the bulk modulus so let us discuss in short again elastic modulus is nothing but stress by strain for Young's modulus E is equal to direct stress by strain. For shear modulus G it is the shear stress by shear strain which is phi and the bulk modulus K is the normal stress by volumetric strain. Hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.